Hello, hello, Lancer fans. From French Hall on the campus of Longwood University, this is Lancer Central, where we give you a recap of all the happenings in Longwood athletics. I'm your host, Darius Thigpen. Great to have you folks along for the ride. Well, it's championship season for many teams, and we have just a month left for all the rest of our sports that haven't concluded yet, a month until the baseball conference tournament and just a couple of weeks until the softball tournament. So let's get right to it. Spring is in the air and baseball is in full swing. The squad has had its highs and lows this season, picked to finish fifth in the Big South. Longwood enters its weekend series against Liberty, last place in the Big South Conference, but Longwood is far from out of it. Five and 10 in the standings, Longwood is only one game back of the eighth spot in the conference, which is needed to get into the Big South Conference tournament, the ultimate goal for the season for the Lancers. Longwood is currently in the middle of a stretch of three straight weekends playing the top four teams in conference, Winthrop, Liberty, and Presbyterian. Going back to Gardner-Webb uh, before that, it's four straight. Longwood only won one against Winthrop this past weekend and one against Presbyterian the weekend before, but both were walk-off wins. The win against Winthrop was a 9-7 walk-off on a homer by Michael Osinski, Longwood's junior shortstop, set up by game-tying home run by outfielder Antoine Tucker, who was named the Big South Freshman of the Week on Monday. The Presbyterian walk-off the week before was courtesy of junior outfielder Ryan Schull. Now that walk-off against Presbyterian clinched the win for Longwood starter Cody Wager, who earned the complete game win against Presbyterian. Cody Wager was phenomenal against Presbyterian, tossing nine innings with one unearned run allowed, five hits allowed, 13 strikeouts, and no walks issued. His performance earned him his second Big South Pitcher of the Week award and the two-time Big South Pitcher of the Week, Cody Wager. He joins us now in studio. So, Cody, did you realize that you're the only Longwood pitcher ever to have two Big South Pitcher of the Week awards? Um, I didn't realize that, and honestly, it's kind of surprising with some of the arms that have came out of the school, mm -hmm. you know, with um, Aaron Myers and Travis Burnett last year. I thought that one of those guys would have been able to do it twice. So. Now, the first time you won the award, you went eight and a third uh, innings. That was against Charleston Southern, a shutout game there. Uh, the one game you get the combined shutout, the other game you get the complete game win. Which to you was the more impressive outing, I guess? Um, well, they were both pretty fun to do, <laughs> yeah. but I would say um, the complete game because I've never, that was my first time I've ever thrown a complete game, and it's something that, that everyone wants to do at least once, so it's good to get that out of the way. And the Charleston Southern game was fun too because I pushed the no hitter bid, but. Mm -hmm. um, you know, at the end of the day, I didn't get it, so the nine innings felt way better than, than the eight and one-third. Yeah, it took a no-hitter into the eighth inning. Uh, we talked after the game, and you said that you w didn't want the strikeouts if it meant you get the complete game. Well, you <laughs> get the complete game and 13 <laughs> strikeouts, yeah. and then you only had, like, just barely over 100 pitches in the yeah. game against Presbyterian. Mm -hmm. well, to me, though, the most impressive thing, you had the 13 strikeouts, no walks. Yeah. I mean, for you, what was, what was more important to getting that win? Was it all the strikeouts or just the fact that you <laughs> didn't issue any walks? Um, well, I never like walking people. I uh, honestly, I'd rather, I'd rather give up hits than walks. And walks is kind of something that really pissed me off. But um, I don't know. The the 13 strikeouts felt good because it I, I kept my pitch count down pretty low. So mm -hmm. anytime I could I could throw 100 pitches and and finish the game, it felt pretty good. And then the fact that you mentioned finishing the game. Well, the game was tied going into the bottom of the ninth yeah, inning. So it was. Ryan Scholl gives you guys a walk off win. How perfect was that to get the walk off in addition to your <laughs> complete game? Man, it felt good. It, it's <laughs> it really did feel good. I'm I was ready to go back there in the tenth if I needed to, but I'm glad that we we finished it there in the ninth. It's been a while. At that time, it was it's been a while. We've walked off since then, but that, since we've walked off, and it was mm -hmm. and it was it was a good time. Well, Cody, you're in your second season here at Longwood. Mm -hmm. You were at. Pensacola State Community College, grew up in Florida. You're mm -hmm. a Florida boy like myself, so yeah. <laughs> I've got to ask you, how are you uh, adjusting to Virginia? How are you liking Longwood? Um, I like Longwood. Um, I would say the weather has taken a little bit of time. It's mm -hmm. like, what, April 24th, and it's 40 degrees and raining, so that's <laughs> not fun. Um, but other than that, uh, you know, it's uh, everyone here is so nice and welcoming, so mm -hmm. I, can't, I have no complaints about Longwood. So what are your plans after college? Are, are you thinking of going back to Florida? Yeah, I'm going back to Florida, but I also have um, a few more years of graduate school left to do. Mm -hmm. I want to be a sports psychologist, and the best way for me to do that is to earn a, uh, earn a doctorate in clinical psychology. Mm -hmm. So I still have about four or five more years of school, and I'm, I'm trying to go back to Florida to finish out. Yeah, I've heard that pitching is such a mental thing. Mm -hmm. Has pitching kind of gotten your interest up, piqued your interest when it uh, comes to psychology? Yeah, definitely. Um, it started with my uh, my older brother gave me a book my junior year of high school. Um, it was called the uh, 
Mind Gym, and mm-hmm. it, I read that book, and it really piqued my interest in the mental side of sports. You know, we learn a lot about the physical side and how training your body is necessary, but we never learn about the mental aspect. And this book really opened up this whole world to me of the of the mental side of sports. And um, ever since then, I've just been I've been addicted, and um, that's what I want to do with my life. I want to help athletes get to um, get to where they want to get to in life and in and in the active and the sports world. The last thing for you, Cody. Uh, what's your personal goal for the rest of the season, and what is the overall ceiling for this team? How good can you guys be? Um, my personal goal uh, is honestly just I want my team to feel comfortable with me on the mound. I want I want everyone to think that we could win that day. When I hit the mound on Friday or Saturday, whatever day it may be, I want I want everybody to come to a unanimous thing that that today's our day. We're winning. We're winning the day today. And um, overall, our team we have we have the potential to to win a Big South title. Um, we haven't played too up to it uh, so far this year, but but we have every capacity to do it. We are uh, we are a very talented ball club, and um, it just takes us getting hot at the right time. All right, Cody. It's been great, man. Appreciate your time today. (laughs) Thank you very much. Well, that's all I've got for you this time around. I thank you for joining us on another edition of Lancer Central. For Emma, Howie, and our entire Lancer Central crew, I'm Darius Thigpen thanking you for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.